Hi, Keoji here. Um, Happy New Year. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you uh, to all those who have been uh, uh, supporting me and, you know, subscribing to me. And I don't know why, but uh, I'm truly thankful. Uh, I tried to um, be honest, uh, be fair. I try to always be constructive and add something. Um, and you know, I didn't know what the hell I was doing uh, in the beginning, but all I wanted was there was, there seemed to be a lot of misunderstanding or uh, things that people didn't, uh, from the West especially, did not understand about Korean culture and the K pop scene and, and things like that. So I just wanted to add something. And you know what? It's been a good year. I've been able to, um, I don't know, just uh, add a little bit of context or, you know, fix a little bit of translation stuff or whatever that I could do. I felt like I'm sharing uh, with people. And, you know, <laughs> tell the truth, you don't find that many uh, K pop um, enthusiasts like myself uh, at my age or pe at least the people that I know of. So, you know, uh, this was a way to, for me to connect uh, to people with something uh, that I care about. Now, um, I didn't know uh, where this was going to lead. For example, I had no idea I'll be covering so much BTS because BTS uh, was one of those groups that I actually followed. And I knew quite a bit, I thought, you know. Uh, so... But I ended up doing, I think I covered most, uh, most covered content is BTS. <laughs> I didn't know there was that much content and, uh, it's, it's been eye opening. I have learned a lot, uh, not only about BTS, but, uh, about, I don't know, uh, how you should work, uh, long last fire, <laughs> perhaps. Anyway, uh, there was a lot to learn from these young guys. And uh, all the fans have been great too, um, you know. And let's see. Oh, seventeen! I didn't know much actually anything about seventeen, but uh, this is a group that I, I feel like uh, I'm proud of. Um, because like you know, even BTS, you know, they went through hardships, but they at least had that you know Bang PD who was older and wiser and a great man in my book but uh these guys seem to have done it on the you know by themselves and they always you know they just with hard work and great friendship uh i don't know there's some about like there's an ease about them uh let's see what are the notables um oh b2b i didn't you know, look, thinking back, I think I heard many of their songs, you know, somewhere before, but I never, you know, like follow them or check them out or have seen their uh, music videos or anything. But this was one of the, uh, I don't know, funniest and like such a uh, happy group. Um, there's something so chill about these guys. I don't know why, but uh, I don't know. I smile and it makes me happy uh, watching them. Um, there's such a positive energy, I think. Um, let's see. Oh, G Idol was, oh man. You know, I, I think I thought they were like a little risque, you know, I'm sexy, little on the edge type of a girl group thing, you know, from a small company. Who and uh, was wrong again? Um, it's they surprised they surprised me so much. Uh, they had such depth. Um, their writing uh, was has so much depth and it's beautifully written. And I was uh, taken by So Young's friend's writing. Um, <laughs> actually, uh, the thing about Giado was that. I think, uh, I feel like I did something, uh, 
while covering G Idol because they had the they had the most horrific translations I have ever seen. It's just garbage, you know. I used to translate uh, for like you know on the side or whatever, but this was just nuts. It's terrible. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, the thing was. It was so bad that I just went in there and just translated the whole thing. And uh, not only I, I appreciated uh, the work uh, by them, but, uh, you know, not many people even watched it. But I felt like I was, I was truly helping the fans. And, and they were very appreciative. And, and I felt happy being able to uh, help those uh, who really wanted to know what the song was about. You know, and that I was, you know, I was able to help a little. And that felt really good. Um, and there was, let's see, TXT, NCT. Um, and the smaller teams that I, that, my, that I might not have ever listened to, like uh, Day 6 was, they were just so talented. Um, kind of saddened that they're not producing anything right now. Uh, let's see. The Rose, uh, those guys, that, that team was, it just music was just well, well, well written. It was uh, one of my favorites this year. So, you know, I have, I don't know, it has opened my eyes. And what I'm finding out is that there are so many things I did not know about so many people. Uh, even yesterday, I think, was it David, David or yesterday? Day before yesterday, uh, I just learned that you know uh, that IU for her fans, she did like two and a half hours of like a uh, 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 encore for her fans after a concert. Two and a half hours. I mean, that shows the uh, real love for their fans and a love for her art. Uh, I always liked. Uh, are you not only for her phenomenal vocals and singing and but she had her own style uh, her vocals too and anyway it's, it's just the uh, more I learn um, I feel like uh, I don't know it's it just I already knew a lot about it but uh, it reconfirms uh, why I liked the pop from the beginning it's, it's the positivity uh, it's the real relationship uh, of between the fans and 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 the and humble and the uh, love for the fans and fans for the you know the stars and it, it's uh, it, it's so positive usually of course there are terrible ones too but overall man and you, there there's a uh, uh, level of intimacy between the artists and the uh, and the fans, and I, I I appreciate that so much. Oh, anyway, so this was uh, I may I'm making this video to thank everyone uh, for last year that this was uh, momentous for me because it's my first year of being a reactor. Uh, uh, I think I told somebody, some people that uh, I had an ulterior motive. <laughs> I, I I have a startup, and um, it, it has something to do with the uh, uh, like videos and IPs and things like that. But you know, uh, the truth of the matter is, you know, I, I'm not that good at lying, or you know, uh, I don't know, just. Not, I, I'd rather be honest. Uh, so I'll promise you guys to be honest and uh, try to be true uh, in uh, doing the re reactions. I don't know how many, you know, I would like to get a lot more, uh, uh, you know, views and, you know, the uh, sub subscribers and stuff. But uh, I'm not going to push anything or do anything that I normally wouldn't. Basically, that's how it's going to be. 
I can promise you guys that. So I just wanted to say thank you uh, for a wonderful experience uh, last year. And uh, I'll continue uh, to do best I could. I wish I had more time to cover all these teams that I haven't. And, you know, get more into their personalities and in-depth things. But, mm, you know, it's... Uh, sometimes you have time and sometimes you don't and you know uh, that's just how it is but uh i'm trying what i can I'm, I'm really trying best i could so next year i'll do the same i'll try to do best i could uh to uh you know share things with you guys and and have fun and if i could uh help out a little with whatever I, little I got and uh, yeah so happy new year that's what I really really wanted to say happy new year and thank you very much see you guys next let's see is it oh uh, yeah see you guys next time it's the new year's already bye bye